Okay, if you want to add games to this thing, it's pretty easy. Um, there's two ways to do it. Um, it comes with, well, mine came with an SD card, a micro SD card. So the games are on there. You can just uh, put that into your PC and just add the ROMs. Or you could um, add more games. I just use this type of uh, card, 64 gig Kingston. What happens is you turn it off, put the card in, turn it on. It's going to create a bunch of directories on that card. Turn it off, pop the card out, put that in your PC, add the games you want, and then you can play games from this one or this one. So what happens is It'll give the option of what card you want to use, one or two. And what happens is it only creates the directories for games that have a ROM in them. So if you don't put a ROM in there, the icon's not going to show up. Now, if you look at the instructions, it says it creates these directories but it actually creates uh, more directories. It creates all of these directories. So the ones that uh, surprised me were the Atari 800, 5200, 7800. Um, so if you put a ROM in there, the icon will show up and you can play it. That's your regular Atari 2600. So there's a couple extra ones in there that um, I wasn't aware of. Atari Lynx is in there. Now, it's got Pico, but it plays a version of Pico games that are uh, with an extension of uh, P8. So if you have a normal Pico file, <laughs> it ain't playing. Now, if you can find some way to convert it, maybe that'll work, but um, the system comes with some Pico games that work, but if you try to add the regular ones that you find online, they're not going to work. And that's it. Um, I would recommend um, putting in a second card and running most of the games you like from that card. Because this is sort of a no-name card and it might get corrupted at some point. Now if you put this card in here, it won't boot. I don't know why. Somebody said you had to um, download the operating system on here, flash it with a program. Um, I didn't do that. So if this card goes kaput, um, you could be out of luck. So if there's a lot of games you like to play, I would just say put them on here and run them from there. And that's about it.